to start with shapes. Now shapes have sounds and anytime you're looking for a guitar or you're chasing a sound that you hear in your head, it's most important to start with the shape. The shape uh, carries with it some signature attributes. Now tonight we're going to talk about shapes in woods and um, you have to kind of forgive me because I'm going to use some broad strokes but every tree is different. So uh, you know we're, we, uh, we, we talk about these things as if they're kind of absolutes but in reality you know every tree is different even though they're shiny good sounding trees they will still have a, their own personality. Uh, so starting with the, the, the uh, probably the, the tailor that most everybody knows and loves since introduced at our, at our 20th anniversary, the Grand Auditorium, or GA. Now, this shape, I'm gonna have, yeah, you're good. Uh, <laughs> let me pull this. The, the Grand Auditorium was, was born at the 20th anniversary, and if in the last uh, 15 so years, if you've heard a Taylor or seen it uh, on, on TV or in a concert, or if you've uh, heard it on a record, probably 80% chance that it was a, a Grand Auditorium. In our lineup, that has a 14, you see them as a 314, 414, all the way up to 914, or 914 CE designation. That's a grand auditorium. What it's known for is its balance. It's really the signature Taylor tone. It's got great balance from, from the low frequencies to the high frequencies. It's got lots of clarity, definition, note separation. That's what, and it's great for both strumming and fingerstyle playing. The Grand Auditorium is kind of the Taylor workhorse, if you will. That was the signature Taylor tone of, say, the last 15 years. In, in 2006, we introduced another flavor of Taylor tone, the Grand Symphony. So that's also known as GS. So the Grand Symphony, pick up one of those, GS7. The Grand Symphony is is the uh, another flavor of Taylor. So if we if we say this is chocolate, that's vanilla or strawberry, however you want to uh, give it a, a nickname, but it's it was born out of the desire to have a tone that had a fuller mid-range, a deeper, more robust uh, low-end bass response, and what I call strident trebles. So, you know, of course everybody laughed thinking it was the marketing guy talking about wine, but we, you know, we talk about a, a deeper a bass, a, a, a full organic mid-range, and the strident trebles, not quite as, as wispy or bright as a grand auditorium. That's a, a grand symphony. We, you know, we'll take questions. Let me uh, kind of get the, the, the five long body shapes and then we'll do questions on that. Does that sound good? It's old school with the Taylor balance. So it kind of has a, an, an older sound, uh, but still all the clarity that Taylor's known for. It's, a, it's the new voice. So now we have the, the traditional Grand Auditorium and Grand Symphony sounds. All right, now the next thing I need to find is a Grand Concert. Grand Concert is the smallest body shape that we make. And it's a... It's really one of the secret weapons of our world. Now, a grand concert being a smaller body is going to have a, a little more of an intimate sound. It's going to not have the projection and volume of the bigger guitars, but it has a special application. Because when you put a pickup on it or you put a mic in front of it, the grand concert is perfect for recording and perfect for playing live. Because it doesn't have the extra air volume, it doesn't have all the overtones in bloom, so if you play with a band, the Grand Concert's going to cut through really, really well, uh, and it's not going to get too woofy or big and get in the way of, say, the piano player, organ player, 
bass player. It's going to kind of have a focus all of its own. The other benefit is on a mic, the same thing. In a track, the grand concert is going to keep its, its sonic space and sound, have a real signature <coughs> guitar sound, but not be in the way of the other instruments. Its, it's primary application, I'd say, would be for like finger style playing. Focus is in the mid range, not the deep low end. Now, through a PA system or through a microphone, that's going to sound like a huge guitar. But you know, on your lap, if you're, if, when you're just playing by yourself, it's not going to have, uh, again, the, the depth or projection of a, of a GS or a GA. So that's the grand concert. Now we make two other traditional body shapes. The first being a dreadnought. And uh, here's one of the, the custom ones that we brought again. This is a, a Brazilian dreadnought with a gloss neck and uh, a red spruce or Adirondack spruce top. A dreadnought is a very traditional body shape. It's kind of got a, a more rectangular size. It's a bigger guitar. And it definitely has what I would call a, an old school traditional sound. Dreadnoughts are great for flat picking and for, you know, whether it's bluegrass or more of a folk thing. You lose some of the nuance if you're a finger style guy with a You know, that, again, that's a generality, but, but the, if you're a dreadnought, I would select if you're going to play flat pick stuff. You know, you want it to get up and go and, uh, and compete with a banjo player. The, the uh, Dreadnought and the, and the Grand Symphony is going to be a good choice for that. And then the final traditional shape that we make is the, the Jumbo. Now, uh, Jumbos are, are often mistaken for this will be the biggest, deepest, fullest sound because it looks like it's going to be big, deep, and full. Uh, but really, the, what a Jumbo does is it's, it's got a lot of focus. It's, a, it's, a, uh, it's got some fullness. But not, it's actually not as the, our biggest sounding guitar anymore. The GS has taken that title. So the Grand Symphony is the, it would be our biggest sounding guitar. The, the uh, Jumbo has a, a traditional large body sound. It's especially great for uh, 12 strings. You see a lot of our 12 strings using a Jumbo body. So from where I'm standing, it's not as deep and, and much bass as the, as the Grand Symphony. But that's something you can try during the petting so you can, you can hands on and experience that. So those are the five shapes of that, that guitars come in. And if you think about uh, the, the way that they, they start, you go with a grand auditorium or GA, and that's going to be the, the all-purpose, uh, great for finger style, great for strumming, great for live, great for studio kind of guitar. If you want a more old school sound, if you're starting there in your head, you want to start with the grand symphony. It's going to have the Taylor balance, but it's going to have a fuller mid-range, deeper low end, and strident trebles. The Grand Concert is great for a small body, intimate guitar in your lap, but it's the secret weapon for stage and studio. Dreadnought, very traditional, and same thing with the Jumbo, makes great 12 strings.